For returning uh, veterans of Dawn of War 2, talk about some of the major changes as well as similar things they'll see in Dawn of War 3. For people that played Dawn of War 2, so the biggest changes that they'll see in Dawn of War 3 is a focus on how the player can synergize the use of their army with line units, which are the basic infantry units, with the elite heroes. So elite heroes have powerful, amazing abilities, and line units are really good at they're very focused roles, right? So range damage, melee damage, etc. So as a player, you kind of have the choice of whether you want to focus on the use of your elite units and use your army to kind of back you up, or if you want to focus on strategically placing your army and use your heroes to soak up the damage. As a game designer, what have advances in technology opened up for you? So uh, we work with the Essence Engine at work, um, and that's pretty much our technology. Um, we've been allowed to iterate on several gameplay mechanics until we find the one that really meets our intentions. So talk about the three different factions and how they all play uh, different and unique. Absolutely. So Space Marines are the, the, the faction that we're showing with Mission 14. And their gameplay is basically these are space uh, knights. They're absolutely powerful mechanized cyborgs. Um, their gameplay is focused on getting units, uh, building strike uh, teams of units that do very good range damage, melee damage, etc., and placing them in the field where they're going to do the most um, for their army. One of the faction mechanics that we're showing in Mission 14 is the drop pods and death, basically death from above. What that allows is basically for the player to be able to put units into drop pods and drop them exactly in the battlefield when they're needed. Yeah, talk about the Eldar and the Orcs and how their play styles are. Absolutely. So Eldar is a faction that you're fighting against in Mission 14. So we haven't shared too much about them. But what you can know is that they're basically space ninjas. They focus on being stealthy. They, have, they are very scarce, so they don't want to lose any numbers. They focus on be, being very strategically placed around the battlefield and do the most damage with very specific counters. Um, Eldar, one of their faction mechanics uh, that you see on Mission 14 is battle focus. They essentially have a, a shield that protects them. When they lose their shield, that their health is really not that great. So Eldar gameplay is all about striking and retrieving your units back to where they're safe. Can you talk about your relationships, uh, your workflow with Games Workshop and what they've provided in terms of you know models or or lore, or anything like that that helps you that helps you design the game. So Games Workshop gives us an amazing IP to work with, and they're really great uh, for us to work with. Relic has worked with them since Dawn of War One. Um, so yeah, it's really what they provide is an amazing universe for us to craft incredible gameplay with. What's it here? What's it here? What's it like being here at PAX, seeing people play your game? Uh, it's really exciting. Um, it's it's been a while, and we've wanted to put this game in people's hands for a long time. So it's really amazing to see the such a positive reaction. I think people that played Dawn of War and Dawn of War 2 are finding the appeal and what we're bringing forward. But also, what we're focusing on is also making it accessible for people that have never played the franchise before. When does Dawn of War 3 come out? What platforms will it be on? Uh, it's going to be a PC game and it's going to come out sometime in 2017.